We'll win, baby. Let's go. We're going to have a good time. Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at a mod from the States by the Hummingbird Mod Company. And the guy that's behind this is Michael. And you maybe heard me mentioning him in the past because he's also behind the SBS group on Facebook where you can go and, and see all the side-by-side -side mods under the sun. And that's what I'm about to show you are two side-by-side -side mods. Uh, one is an 18650 and one is a 21700. They are both DNA 60s and all the pricing, all the details I will give you as we go along. So, close-ups. Now each device is going to come in one of you've seen these many times before one of these little transport cases well padded inside each mod will also come with uh, an identifier a certificate of authenticity and what you're looking at right now is the shift and this is the shift plus now the, the main difference between the two is that the, the shift is 18650 and this is 21700 uh, you can see here that the, the 21700 or the shift plus will have an exposed battery here so you have an exposed battery on the shift plus uh, but you have a carbon fiber tube on the shift and this just lifts out like that you pop your battery in and then you pop this back in there and that's the difference each one is going to come with a dna 60 board uh, but the main difference that i want to highlight here is also you have two different buttons now this button that i'm showing you here is kind of flush and this one also illuminates as well. You get a different color, you get a color in this one. Uh, this is an optional upgrade. I think you're going to be paying about $10 extra on the price of the mod if you go for this flush button here. Uh, we have this button here, which has, you know, you can see it has a slightly longer travel on it, uh, but it kind of sits out proud. Now, some people, Michael, uh, do prefer having this button, whereas people like myself uh, prefer having this button. $10 upgrade over this one though. As far as pricing for the mods go, uh, for the Shift Plus you are looking at $189 and you're looking at $199 for this one, uh, which is strange at first I thought oh I thought the 21700 would have been more expensive but I suppose you do have an actual carbon fiber tube here so there's going to be an additional cost for that materials wise so you're looking at uh, a PA12 this is an MGF print it's PA12 through black nylon uh, unibody uh, you do have for each one you have gold plated this side Mr Todd come on get your game, game face on here you have gold plated keystone contacts and you've got a very tube v2 510 connector on each device the DNA 60 uh, when he ships them uh, he loads them with the, the international firmware so that's preloaded which is a great thing because not everybody actually does that so you're going to have uh, nine profiles on it going through variable wattage wattage with a boost punch of five wattage with a boost punch of 11 Stainless Steel 316, die codes, Neanthal, uh, you've got SSVTI.4, .5 and .6. So that's all the profiles that he puts on there. And once again, I'm going to say I like the fact that he does that and just doesn't, you know, send it out with the standard setup on it. Other things that you want to know about or should want to know about is that uh, on the shift itself here. So once again, 18650, uh, you are looking here from down here to up here uh, I think it's a 37 millimeter recess here to here uh, on the 21700 it's a 43 millimeter recess and both mods will take a 25 millimeter diameter atty in saying that uh, please be aware that a lot of 25 mil atties that's going to have to be 25 mil flush all the way up the atty it's, if it's anything like a vapor giant where you've got all these little bits sticking out then it will not fit unless 25 mil flush up and down so throwing a battery into the 18650 uh, not a problem we do have battery indicators here plus and a negative going on so taking the tube off chuck my battery in there 
and it, it really does go in no problem. Uh, you can, if you find it to be too tight or you're worrying about it damaging wraps, which I was at the start, you can actually push these keystone, co you can flatten them out a little bit if you want. I mean, you will see you've got your soldering going on here and here, and you can also see that you have your wire running, it, it's well recessed. It's not going to pop out or anything like that, or it hasn't on mine since I've had it. But uh, I can then just pop the battery in, and then if I push my firing button, then you get the start up, which is shift, which is really, really smart. And, uh, and there we go. So you can see pushing the fire button, see how it's illuminated here just now? That will go off. But uh, I, for me, and this is a personal thing, personal taste thing, really really like this mod a lot and um, I love this uh, it's like your aluminium uh, or aluminium kick plate uh, it's got that kind of design on it and it's done well and and obviously you've got you know you can see you got your cut out here so that does allow for a little bit of flex in the material as well uh, overall the look and the design on this you know shift in here I did get a shed addition uh, put on my one here you know you've got indicators for the plus and minus little tactile buttons going on there on the base we do have a USB port so you can connect this to eScribe you've got the hummingbird logo going on and an all in I quite a fan of this one little niggle I will point out is that uh, it's a 22 mil uh, plate here on the 510 so even though I can put a 24 or a 25 mil on here uh, you know it's, it's going to overhang the 510 because it's only 22 got the 21700 here and this goes in no problem uh, one thing that I did pick up with mine and I fed this back and this has been addressed already this is not an issue going forward uh, I use uh, Molly cells and uh, ohm tech batteries and with even with my Molly cells I was noticing that um, they just here the battery was just sticking out a little bit too far for my liking so he's already updated the print and uh, any future ones you can see just see how it's just the battery's just sticking out a little bit too far there that's been updated that's so that's no longer an issue on any future prints but uh, there you go there, there's the only difference is that you can see there that you've got an exposed not exposed battery as such but yeah kind of uh, so there's your battery there but once again it goes in and out no problem and that's your two mods so first example for you here is a, a 25 mil atty this is the the scrape uh, which is now leaking from the, <laughs> the airflow I've not used it for a couple of days uh, but there's a 25 mil tank on that and it's perfect absolutely perfect if I remember right that's the the EC uh, scrape and perfect fit how about uh, a dwarf direct lung uh, FL or FL direct lung uh, it's a little bit on the shorter side but with the drip tip you don't really notice anything do you see what I mean about the, the 510 plate see how it's it's just recessed because it's only a 22 mil plate but uh, yeah no issues some of the the shorter two mil tanks like there's a skyline there you can see it's just a, a little bit on the short side and that's also the same with things like uh vapeware mods and the name of the tank has completely gone out of my head not the integra oh my god i just reviewed this not long ago uh, but uh, yeah people in comments will be screaming telling me what the name of it is but uh, Sorry Costas, I should know that. Of course if you uh, hang about and you, you buy yourself a, a DLC coated hard down the line, it's a perfect fit. How's that for some shameless self promotion? Uh, I, I'm just, you know, there we go, with 28 watts in this and fires perfectly and uh, I'll keep everything else for back up top but I'll give you a, a close up look just to show you that, you know, the detail you have here, shift logo, uh, you also have an accent coming around here as well on both sides and yes that's the shift and there 
is the Shift Plus. Remembering DNA 60 both, exposed tube on the Plus 21700 and you've got this carbon fibre tube and yes it is carbon fibre and that's it. So there you go, uh, that's the Shift and uh, the Shift Plus and just to point out once again, uh, the button that you see here that's the standard button and it sits a bit more proud. Some people like that because they can instantly feel it on their finger uh, where you have this one which is more recessed and once again it illuminates. It's $10, $10 more uh, and me personally, much to Michael's delight, I prefer this and uh, yes it does cost that $10 more but uh, have a quick vape. Uh, right, pros and cons. Um, I will say the print quality on this is superb. Uh, uh, it's really good, the print quality on this. Um, other things is that shipping wise, now these are made in the USA. Uh, it's really all done through the Facebook group just now. I do know they'll be available at Vapen Art. Uh, most of you will know that website. You'll be able to buy them there as well. Uh, when he does the lists, I'm pretty sure the, the letter that Michael sent on is going to be doing a, a kind of drop shipping thing for the EU where he'll have a trusted individual in the EU. I have no idea who that could be. Probably some strange man <laughs> saying nothing. Um, but he, they'll all be shipped there and then distributed, which will cut down on any customs fees or anything like that that you would normally get buying from America. There are also going to be different coloured versions available. I would suggest you go and check out the Facebook group. Um, this weathered look uh, on this, the, you know, just the shift, the 18650 version, I, I really, I, do you know, complaints with this one are, are few and far between. Um, I really like the design on it. The, the only niggle for me is, I'm being completely blunt, um, yes the 510 is five, it's a, it's a 22mm 510 so even though you can accommodate that 25mm um, tank it's a 22mm 510 which just looks a bit weird for me. Uh, it, it's just, yeah that's just one niggle I have. Um, other niggles I did have at the start with, you know, I was worried about damaging the wraps, pulling the batteries out the way they go, but uh, if they are too tight you can just push them. Uh, just push them a little bit and that sorts it. The other complaint or niggle that I had was the, on my one here, was that this, this bit that comes out, slope that comes out here, uh, the batteries protruded further. That has now been addressed and any future prints or any future batches don't have that. It is already compensated for it. I've seen a photo of the new print and um, yeah, so it won't be an issue for you guys if you buy one now. It's just me that's got, I don't, I don't really care, but um, yeah. Um, I'm not a massive fan of this button, uh, I prefer the recessed one, and now I'm repeating myself, I love the fact that it comes with the preloaded uh, international DNA 60 Evolve firmware, and is there anything else? No, uh, I gave you the, the recesses uh, for, for here and here on the Shift and the Shift Plus at the start, just to repeat it, I'll read it off here. On the Shift Plus, the 21700, it's 43 millimetres. So that's the recess for the size of your tank. And it's 37 millimetres on the Shift, the 18650 version. I'm going to say you're looking at, what did I say it was again? For $199 for the 18650 and $189 for the Shift Plus, the 21700. I think the pricing is very, very good. The quality is very, very good. I, a thumbs up on this one. I, I, I'm very impressed with both of them. I really like the 18650 version. I've, I really like this. And um, I don't think he'd be sorry. And the fact that he's actually got the USBs in there as well. Uh, well done. Michael, uh, job well done, mate. Seriously. Uh, and thank you for listening to my, uh, my feedback when it was given. Uh, 
check out the Facebook group or check out Vape and Art. They should be coming there soon. And uh, that's it from me. But uh, thank you to Michael for supplying both of these. I did get them free to review and to show off to you. And until next time, bye for now.